Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below. But it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free, and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below, and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barazande and I wanted to share in this video some really interesting ways that people misuse the law of attraction. So if you're here and the law of attraction is not working for you, here's the most common things that I see that cause the law of attraction to absolutely fail in a really bad way for people. And this is through thousands, if not tens of thousands of people through our You Wealth Revolution event and the thousands of questions that we field every season. Now, the first big mistake, and I'm gonna give you three, that you don't wanna do, is you do not wanna make the law of attraction about material things. It's very easy to do that. A lot of people will go out and say, okay, if I start spending money, buying those expensive shoes, buying expensive clothes, starting to look the part, starting to stretch myself, then all of a sudden I'm gonna have abundance. That absolutely does not work because the effect of abundance is not from having more stuff. The cause of abundance is from actually being abundant inside. Exterior stuff does not create abundance. So when people say, you know, if I go out and I buy that expensive jacket that I can't afford, all of a sudden I'm gonna be abundant, no, that is not true. So what you actually wanna do is shift how you see the world. You wanna start seeing the world from a place of abundance and possibility. So the, the shift is not about the physical stuff, it's about the internal shift. So you see the world as an abundant place, you start to see yourself as an abundant being. Then your mind begins to ask the question, naturally, what could I do to give more of this that I realize I have inside out into the world. And then you start to see and feel and act differently. That's very different than going out and saying, I'm gonna go buy this fancy car because that's gonna mean that I'm gonna attract more. No, you're gonna get yourself in debt, possibly very frustrated, and you're gonna not have created the internal change. Outward does not work. I mean, we know it's cause and effect. So start to change how you see the world and see yourself and see it in a more abundant light and see ways that you can begin to give some of that abundance out to the world. So if you start saying, listen, I have an abundance of ideas and I'm gonna figure out a way to let those ideas flourish so people can be served in the world, that is an inner shift and ideas are unlimited, so you can begin to create that shift. Now, the second thing, <laughs> sorry, that I see people make mistakes with, with the law of attraction is they see it as attraction. The whole name is essentially wrong. I don't like the name. The name sucks, to be quite honest with you. It's not law of attraction. It should be the law of connection or the law of everything or the law of oneness because if you begin to think that you've got to attract something, then automatically you're operating from a place of void. Begin to see yourself as already not having it because you don't have it in your hands, but connected to it. You are part of the same energy system of that thing. You're part of the same energy system as somebody who is out sharing their message or giving their gift or being able to have great experiences. Same energy system. You share the same air. You share the same ethers. You share the same you know, set of vibrational possibilities. So all you have to do is begin to hold the belief first then the frequency, and then the action. So the belief is going back to number one. It's not the material things, it's the truth that I can have those things that I want. I can plug in because inside I am abundant. So you have to start seeing that there are unlimited possibilities within me. Once you can just try that on and say, look, I could do something different today. I could make a video. I could put it out somewhere. I could help somebody. I could go and walk around and help people that are in need. I could start abundantly giving of my heart 
then what happens next? Then you begin to have a little different frequency. Instead of seeing the world as, oh my gosh, I don't want anyone to take from me, so I'm gonna guard it all. I go, you know, I got a little something here. I could give this to what I could share. Your, your frequency changes, right? So then you go out and you maybe take different actions. And as you take those actions, it starts to reflect the abundance you felt first on the inside. So the idea of needing to attract something because you don't have it creates the void. It creates a trap. Focus on the fact that everything is connected. All is one. You are already connected to all of that. Now you just have to hold that space so that that connection brings it into your reality. And that's it. It's really simple. And the third thing that I want to share that's really important is the failure to hold the vibration over time. Whenever I was out trying to do anything in my life new or different, the number one reason why I would fail is because my energy was not holding that new pattern or frequency for a long enough time for me to actually get into the space of naturally acting that way, naturally wanting to serve that way, naturally seeing the world that way. So for me, many years, I wanted to go out and, and share these kind of messages. And I would hold it for a few days and then something would happen and I would say, no, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna go back to what I was doing before. And then what happens is I go back to doing what I was doing before, the frequency shifts, you know, how I see myself self changes. I don't impact any material world change because I haven't made the change inside. And then we go back and say, well, see, it didn't work. I tried it for two, three days. This is one of the big reasons that we do You Wealth Revolution, our you know daily show, is to hold people, to cradle you in that vibration. So you're around people that believe. You're around people that understand this world is energy. You're around people that are shifting their life. And if you do these three things, if you plug in first, let go of the idea it's a material thing. It's all inward, it's all spirit, it's all ether, it's all you know this internal energy that we have that we are connected to. And number two, get rid of the idea, lose the idea. It's not a good idea to think of it as attraction. Think of it as everything is one, all is one. You are one with every single thing in this universe. So all you need to do is just hold the belief that it is yours and then begin to put out that frequency and then begin to take certain actions. And that is not material actions. It is the frequency of giving, the frequency of creating, the frequency of sharing forth that gift and then hold the vibration, get involved in groups, read inspirational work, listen to inspirational you know, healers and teachers and masters, which is what we do at You Wealth Revolution. Those three things will shift your life and those are the biggest mistakes I see with the law of attraction across thousands, tens of thousands of people through the years. And if you want something to help you get started, we've got a special gift down below in the description. It's the first line down below and it's our pure joy MP3. It's a 1074 Hertz vibrational attunement that holds you in the state of joy. And joy is an attractor because in joy, you want to go out and do more, give more, connect more to people. Do that. I know your life will change. Thanks for listening in. And if you like this video, you enjoyed it, hit like, hit share, and uh, help us get the word out. Much love. Thanks for being in my life.